I'm Sarah Kennedy, Sales Coordinator for Integro. Integro is located in New Britain, Connecticut. We are a U.S. manufacturer for several industries such as shipbuilding, steel fabrication, mining, and airport lighting. This video will be demonstrating one of our fastest growing product lines in the shipbuilding and steel fabrication markets, Integro's preheat system. This video will demonstrate to you what our preheat system consists of, how it is used, why it is preferred over most systems, and finally, safety precautions during use. Throughout this video, you will learn the overall value of our system and how it can save you time and money, and more importantly, how it will give you the ultimate process control that you can't get with other preheating methods. Before starting, I would like to thank you for taking the time to view this video. As I mentioned earlier, our preheat system is currently being used for pre-weld heating at several large U.S. shipyards, as well as bridge construction and various types of companies performing steel fabrication. Examples are windmill manufacturing, helicopter decks, tank and pipe manufacturing, and general heating of liquids. There are three main components that make up this system. The controller, the power streamer, and the heating elements. Now, let's take a look at each component. The controller is designed for three-phase, three-pole, four-wire primary input and has four three-pole, four-wire receptacles for secondary output. It comes with power available indicators, blown fuse indicators, a disconnect switch, and a percentage timer. This unit comes with a percentage timer that will allow you to control the heating time of the system and to alter the system's heating requirements to each application. I will show you how this works very shortly. That wraps up our first component for now. Once again, it is a 480 volt controller that comes with a percentage timer for 100% control of your heating time. It is portable, lightweight, and very simple to use with an on and off switch and power indicator lights. Next, I will be showing you our second component, the power streamer. Power streamers are used to take the four contact, three phase power from the controller and distribute that power to the six outlets. The power streamer transforms three phase power to single phase. Each of these six outlets will be used for the heaters to plug into. Each power streamer has a molded four contact male plug that plugs into the controller. A standard power streamer has 50 feet of cable leading into the six drops. Each drop is spaced three feet apart. Each drop has a molded female receptacle. The power streamer can come with any length configuration you want or need to accommodate tight space requirements or jobs that are a long distance from the power source. This power streamer is a heavy duty distribution unit built to withstand rough conditions and last a long time. This power streamer was designed for easy setup. Simply plug it into the controller and hook up your heaters to each drop. Finally, we have our strip heaters. Our strip heaters are made with a cast aluminum shoe and a flat cover to heat your steel to appropriate temperatures. The covers are designed to be easily mounted to your application. They are designed with hanging slots so that you can drive a stud and hold them in place. The standard sizes are 12 inches, 18 inches, 24 inches, and 36 inches. Each strip heater has a 15 foot input cord with a molded male connector that plugs into the power streamer drop. The input cord can come with any length to accommodate your requirements. If you have a custom length or width required for the strip heaters, we can have it custom made for you. Integro also offers a selection of heaters that can be used on surfaces requiring various temperatures and custom heaters. We will introduce those to you later on. Integro's preheat system was designed with convenience in mind. Now that you understand each of the components, we will demonstrate to you how simple and easy it is to use. First, you want to station the controller near your power supply. Again, as you can see, this unit is lightweight and easy to move around. Have a licensed electrician wire the control panel to a properly rated 460 volt fused switch panel. When moving the control panel, be sure the power is off. Do not plug the power streamer into the control panel yet. Next, you will take each heater and set them up on the surface you want to preheat. The heaters can be anchored either by attaching studs to the surface to be heated or by clamping them down. Here, we are using studs. Make sure that the heater has excellent contact with the surface to be heated 
but also try not to over tighten the nuts or clamps. Double check that each heater is properly anchored to the surface to be heated and then plug the heater into the power streamer. Once all of the heaters are plugged into the power streamer, check to be sure that power to the control panel is off and the switch on the control panel is off. Plug the power streamer into any outlet on the control panel. You may only be using one power streamer like we are demonstrating to you today, or you may be using all four power streamers. It will all depend on your job. The control panel will operate with one, two, three, or all four power streamers attached. Finally, turn on the fuse switch panel in your controller and set the percentage timer to 100%. The timer is a 60 second percentage timer. The graduations on the timer are percentages from zero to 100. Setting it to 100% will allow a constant flow of power through the system 100% of the time. Setting the timer at 50% will send power to the streamer for 30 seconds and turn off for 30 seconds, since 50% of a minute is 30 seconds, and so on. Be sure not to touch any of the heaters. They will get very hot. The temperature of the heaters can approach 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, the system is working in heating up the steel. Temperature of the steel before heating was 70 degrees, and we want to get it to 250 degrees. We will check back on it in just a few minutes. In the meantime, let's talk about why Integro system has been the preferred system over other heating methods. First, it saves time. If you are used to using the torching method for preheating, you will understand why. With Integro system, you do not have to waste time and sit there with a torch. You can just set up the system, walk away, and work on something else. More importantly, with torches, you are using half of your time heating and half of your time welding. With Integro system, you are welding 100% of the time. Your welders are getting paid to do what they do best. Saving time equals saving money. Second, you will have 100% control. The percentage timer allows you to have complete control over the heating process. Once you are at your desired temperature, all you need to do is set the percentage timer to maintain that temperature while welding. Third, Integro system is cost effective. It gets the job done for less than half the cost than more complex systems out there. As we just demonstrated, this system is very easy to set up and very portable. Integro also offers a single outlet controller that can operate up to six heaters for your smaller applications and a six outlet controller that can operate up to 36 heaters. Let's take a look at the other types of heaters you may need that Integro can custom build for you. Fan heaters are designed for heating cylindrical surfaces. These are also easy to install and remove. They come in one or two piece construction and can be custom manufactured to fit your application. Heat cable can be used for freeze protection and for heating pipes, valves, and various surfaces. Silicone flexible heaters are used for applications requiring low to medium temperatures and flexible heaters. Various sizes and styles are available. These heaters are recommended for use on aluminum only. Let's take a look and see what our temperature is. We are right where we want to be, so in order to maintain this temperature, we are going to bring the percentage timer down to 50%. So it is on for 30 seconds and off for 30 seconds. Deciding what to set the timer to depends on your application and your ambient temperature. There would be a short period of trial and error while determining what percentage rate to set the timer to. It is important that care be taken in measuring the temperature properly during this stage of preheating. Looks like we are all set and the welding can begin. That wraps up our preheat system training video. We hope that this training was helpful. Please check back with us for updates on our preview system at www.integro-usa.com. Thank you.